Have you ever thought of it that like language is sort of like a code and the words in it, no matter how definite in your mind, are subject to the interpretation of the mind receiving them? Um, you know, and it's it kind of seems like based on context, you know, two people that really know each other and understand the context they're in, boy, they can say like all sorts of paragraphs in just sort of a, a glance of an eye. But two people who don't understand each other and don't really know the context of the situation they're in, you know, they, they confuse each other with lots and lots and lots of words, um, you know. And so it, it's kind of interesting that whether or not language is part of a communication breakdown, it seems that context always is. Um, and, you know, the context, well, it, it can even communicate with, without language, so language is sort of meaningless without context, and context can be more effective than language. Uh, the extreme example is simply like two strangers who don't speak the same language at all, but they're both starving to death, you know, on a deserted island or something, and language is useless to them, yet they implicitly, implicitly, and impl implicitly, they most certainly understand what the other relays as they coordinate to survive. Um, you see, uh, context, and um, this is this is why it's really important to consider someone's context uh, if, if you want to understand um, or have them understand uh, what it is that you're trying to say. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh boy, maybe not. I, I know this is all very confusing, especially coming from from a talking dog and whatnot. But it's important to think about um, because, you know, the, these ancient texts, they were written, oh boy, like uh, 700 to 1400 years ago by like 40 uh, or more people who, who spoke all sorts of different languages and came from different regions and experienced different lives and had different religions and, and different politics. And oh gosh, there's just so much going on here. And especially considering that there's so many types of literature, you know, some historical records, some poetry, some allegory, some historical fiction, some nonfiction, some fiction, and other actions, you know. And so a lot of people get a lot, a lot of things all confused. And, and, and I'm not even talking about those people who are like openly just twisting and manipulating these texts for some really stupid reasons. I, I'm saying just perfectly understandable misunderstandings. And, and also keep in mind regarding context, these are ancient people in ancient times. Writing was difficult and it was time consuming and it was costly and to copy it could be a pain. So in addition to the fact that like you're so removed from the author's mindset and the audience's situations from which these texts were written by and for, well, you know, also, these texts were written to be short. So, you know, there's just, you know, there's a lot to think about. And that's what the linguistic studies and cultural contextual studies are for. Um, so we hope that you enjoy. And I'm very sorry if you're very confused. Um, I'll work on making a better video another time. Uh, this is Chucky Bear, out.